Welcome Amakosi Network, welcome to the channel. Today we continue, well we talk about Puso Dite Jani and what happened there. There's more information regarding that story. So it's time that we conclude on it. And then we do preview for tomorrow's game against Cape Town's uh, Spurs. So before I start, like and subscribe. And thank you to those who have subscribed and joined the channel. And thank you to those who all support the channel. And yeah, guys, um, it's a family. We debate, we discuss, we, we share information. But in saying that, guys, if uh, I would like to just make a statement to be like, guys, let's watch the videos and then interact. Some of you want to just comment on um, just like the poster or whatever, the artwork. And then from the artwork, you are, are the first questions I get or like before I watch this video, tell me what truth is there in your story. And I'll, I'll tell you guys now, if you want to know the truth of the story, listen to the video because I always tell my people where I get my sources. I won't answer questions where people are forcing me to tell them bef about a source before they even watch the video. Watch the video if and then i'll mention the sources in that video anyway this is a let me get to the poster dj journey one but before that subscribe and like and comment guys most important and thank you to those we've passed 1.5 and um, so we're on to almost at 2k and then it's all about the fans trying to get you something so yeah let's get let's get to it poster dj journey i am going to read an article from uh, sapc sport and break it down for you guys a little bit but yeah, so basically TS Galaxy signed Pusa Dite Jani yesterday. We saw the picture with Tim Sugazi and they were saying, and basically, yeah, they, it had, the deal happened, but I will say this, Mazola yesterday said that 1.5 that Chiefs said they want, he does not believe that Chief, uh, TS Galaxy are going to pay it. And yeah, uh, Tim Sugazi basically said they are still negotiating that fee, but Technically, that fee apparently is not correct. 1.5 is too much. But so, yeah, so, so no one knows where Chiefs got that fee. And basically, so this is the rule in the SAPC um, article. It says, according to the National Soccer League rules, if a youth player moves from one Premier League uh, club to another, the team responsible for his development is entitled to 50,000 rand a year per year. So if it's saying the NSL, the bigger board of um, the PSL, is saying it's 50,000, if Chiefs had uh, basically helped build Puso Dite Jani for five years, then it would kind of mean that like Chiefs would be entitled to like 250K. So where they get the 1.5, no one knows. Only Chiefs will tell you that story. But yeah, so basically Tim, uh, Susa, um, Tim was basically saying, uh, he, they became aware of Puzo Dite Jani's availability in the last week, so when the news of the termination happened, and as a concert, SA Football Public and Citizen, we thought it would be a huge risk and future to, to risk the uh, future of SA Football to have a talent like Puzo wandering around at home and not playing football. And then they decided to sign him because this is a player who plays for Bafana Bafana Kosafa, this is a player who they say has a bright future. So Chiefs lost a future right back slash right mid. Right now, Upuso Dite Jane for me looks more attacking than defensive. So he looks like he would be a better right wing player or right mid player than he does a right back. Because I always tell you this thing that Chiefs development doesn't develop the defensive side of, side of teams, which is a very dumb part. But you will see... A lot of our defenders have defensive holes. The last defender to come through Chiefs who looked solid was Ungezane. But how many seasons did it take Ungezane to really, 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 really get his, his defensive strength out? It took a number of years. It didn't just happen overnight. Like It really took a while. But eventually he got there, meaning that these boys have the talent, but they are not coached properly in development. For example, if you are a left back, I should not be teaching you how to defend when you come to the first team. If you are a right back, I should not be teaching you how to position yourself, how to defend, how to market defender, etc., etc. But if you go and watch Happy Mashiani, guys, if any one of you goes and watch Happy Mashiani, 
just watch his positioning. Watch how he positions himself and you all know what he, he was not trained. Yes, it said on position, right wing back, but he was not trained to be a defender. That's one problem there. Because Happy Mashiani does not mark, like for example, the small things that Ushanti and Dove do as left backs, that Ushanti oh, Mashiani doesn't do. Like Mashiani will give the winger too much space or give the winger too much space in the wrong air or he would isolate himself for example if the team is going compact meaning coming together it means you have to give that defender kind of like the line you mustn't fall, allow him to come inside but what Mashiano will do in those situations is that he will fetch the defend when he fetches that defender at the line they end up beating him so that's what it is so the development has a lot of problems so in that i'll say this there's still a long way to go for Kaiser Chiefs um, in terms of their development and getting the defenders especially right. And apparently Mazola was saying there's a lot more suspensions happening at Kaiser Chiefs. As to whether a lot of players are going to be getting their release closes, I don't know. Like I mentioned that since Chiefs has been do, dishing out these suspensions etc., there's a lot of players I have not been seeing lately. And I'll name them. There's the goalkeeper Unkosi. I have not been seeing him. So I'm guessing he's suspended. There's U Jensen, who I have not seen. I'm guessing he's suspended or injured. But he was like our top goal scorer. But now he's not in the DDC team. And he's not in the first team training. So I'm guessing he's suspended. The, I mentioned that I think Uzita got released because they were pictures of him online playing for another team makers or something so omega mtaga uh puso Tijani, they seem like they have been released or um, not released but like yeah suspended or puso Tijani omega released the rest seem to be suspended so uh, if you watch the ddc you will have picked up that some of your favorite players are no longer there I'm not sure if some of them are injured, but I'm guessing. Like Kukumete, I haven't seen him in a while. So I wonder if he's also part of that suspension. But before I get, before I close it up, I wanted to say this. Uh, the whole thing of being a ball boy, I was watching uh, SAPC uh, last night and Andy Lengubo was saying, because it's the Culling Black label, they try to not get players um under the age of 18 to be part of that or to be ball boys because it's a brand that has to deal with alcohol etc which is why they had to end up asking our puss on omega mdaga to be ball boys and it was that was the situation and in that chat a lot of people were agreeing that chiefs at the end of the day is your employer so you should uh follow what your employer says but one thing Spiam Konza was even highlighting in that story is that he was saying, but being a ball boy is kind of disrespectful and degrading to that team. And that's for me to that player, because that for me, that's how I feel. I feel like a player who is now seeing themselves as a senior player, plays for Bafana, can't now be a ball boy all of a second Sunday when he competes in training to be part of the first team. It's degrading to the player and it kills the player's confidence and that they you believe in them kind of thing. So for me, that's why I say even though the team has the right to do it, I feel it's still wrong. If some of you still don't believe me in the comment I'm making, let me take it back to home. Let's just say you, you start in a company in corporate, whatever, and you are a tea, tea guy, a tea guy, a cleaner or a tea guy, whatever. You make tea, basically. A tea, I don't want to say tea lady because there are barely, barely any tea ladies here. Yeah? But yeah, you're a tea lady. And then you start studying after work. You know, you go to your UNISAs, etc., etc. And then a position comes out at the same job. And then you apply for it and now you're an accountant. Ne? So now your position is that you are now an accountant. But... Works minute, Upas John comes and then is like, hey, when I tell, or, or Sipo or Miriam, whatever, go and make me tea. But now you are no longer a tea lady. You are an accountant. So why is Bas John not asking the people who should be making tea for tea? Why is he asking you for tea when you now an accountant? Meaning what your position now 
is a position that should be respected that those duties no longer lie with you to be making tea. The person who should be making tea should be the people who those duties are aligned to. Sharp. And then that's my that's my view on it. So now it feels like how people are undermining me now in my position. And the ball boy situation is the same. These guys play for Bafana Bafana. Some of them they play, they train with the senior team, etc. Then and all of a second Sunday, you'll make them a ball boy. It feels very unfair. What I say is that, guys, even if Kaiser Chiefs has to call me, I don't play soccer. I'm not a professional or anything. If Chiefs has to call me and say, yeah, when you are over 18, go and be a ball boy. I mean, I'm telling you, I'll be there, Chiefs. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be a ball boy. And shout at these guys on the field, pass, pass, and, and kind of thing, but still giving them the soccer balls when it goes up. That's why I'm saying there's a lot of kids out there who are or people out there over the age of 18 who are willing to be ball boys. Why not use, make a program uh, where you can get people to apply and be ball boys? Think ahead of time. Don't go and use your academy players and getting... Uh, us random public people to be ball boys it's a good initiative for us because we get to be part of the team and enjoy our team and be on the fnb field or wherever moses mapita field and we get to enjoy the full experience of being a fan and a ball boy being a ball boy is a, would be a privilege for the public but i understand as a senior player it's it's disrespect. It feels disrespectful to be in that position. That's my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Am I talking nonsense? Am I not? Just let me know. And yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys. For those of you waiting for the preview of the next game or the Cape Town Spurs game, I have decided not to make the preview of that game because we won't be able to watch it. But yeah, so coming up with the starting lineup and all of those things, it would be nice if there was something we could watch but because we can't watch it let's see what the result comes with but in terms of predictions let's say Chiefs wins 2-0 um hopefully Dupree because I saw Dupree in training but hopefully we win 2-0 tell me what you guys think about that